This next module will talk about adaptations that have been made to the PEARLS program since it was originally developed about 20 years ago. First, why is it important to adapt? Adaptation is one way that we work with community partners to support the people and places to do the PEARLS program. Let's start with some definitions. Adaptation is a modification to the PEARLS program or delivery, which can be planned or unplanned. It's important that adaptations are consistent with fidelity to the original PEARLS model. So fidelity is the degree to which PEARLS core elements or functions are done as intended. Drift is when an adaptation is in conflict with fidelity. What we do at our center is partner with organizations like yours to make appropriate modifications to the program or how it's delivered to better meet the communities you serve and the organizations where you work while maintaining consistency with the key pieces of what makes PEARLS work. Before talking about adaptations, let's talk about PEARLS initial evidence base. PEARLS was developed using trained master's level social workers and nurses at several community-based social service organizations in the Seattle King County area. A psychiatrist provided clinical supervision and PEARLS was delivered in the home in person. On the right, you can see table one, which shows the people who participated in the original research study. 42% identified as a person of color, including 36% black, 4% Asian, 1% Latino, and 1% indigenous. 79% were female, an average age of 73, and about three quarters lived alone, and 58% had less than a $10,000 household income, and all were experiencing poverty. 42% had a high school education or less, and all were English-speaking older adults. Participants had on average four to five chronic conditions and a third had visited the emergency room in the past six months. So this gives you a sense of the population where the model was originally developed, which are folks living with complex health and social needs who are receiving services from social service organizations. Let's next talk about some of the populations where PEARLS has been delivered since the original research study. Some communities of color include Black older adults, including African Americans and Somali refugees, Latino populations, including first and second generation immigrants from Mexico, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and other countries of origin in South and Central America, Asian communities, including Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, Filipino, and Cambodian older adults, and people who speak languages other than English within these communities of color, as well as white populations. Pearls forms and materials have been translated into Spanish, Russian, Somali, and Chinese. And the program has also been delivered by bilingual bicultural counselors who speak Tagalog, Locano, and Vietnamese. You'll notice that we've got limited experience doing pearls with tribal communities, such as Native American, American Indian, Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander communities as well. And so we're happy to partner with you to think about appropriate adaptations for reaching those communities. If those are communities that your organization is currently serving and trying to reach with pearls. Materials have not been translated in all languages. So we're also happy to partner on making the model more culturally and linguistically appropriate for communities who speak languages other than English. Other populations that the model has been adapted for and delivered with include people living with disabilities of all ages, such as with vision and hearing impairments or physical limitations, people living in rural settings. So the model was originally developed in a metropolitan area and since has been delivered in metropolitan areas with rural parts of the counties or in rural parts of other parts of the country. We've done pearls with caregivers, for people living with dementia and other conditions, with the veteran community, including veterans themselves, as well as their widows and spouses, people living with mild cognitive impairment and other underserved populations, such as people who are experiencing homelessness. In terms of the context, PEARLS has been adapted to be done by phone, by video conferencing or hybrid 
in which, for instance, the model is done in person for the first several sessions and then by phone for subsequent sessions. This was particularly done in the last few years during the COVID pandemic. In terms of settings, we've partnered with community-based social service organizations, as well as public health departments and healthcare settings to deliver PEARLs. We've also expanded who's been trained as PEARLs coaches and clinical supervisors. So coaches have included bachelor's level providers, community health workers and promotoras, and interns and volunteers trained to deliver PEARLs. And clinical supervisors include psychiatric nurse practitioners, geriatricians, and licensed clinical social workers who bring expertise in mental health or physical health conditions and medication management among older adults.